Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Jeremy Kirsten Show, where every episode we show you a new model home in the Houston, Texas area and provide you with the most important information to make the best home buying decision. I am your host and real estate agent, Jeremy Kirsten, with Realty Associates and Team Perotti. Today, we are at Meritage Homes in the beautiful master plan of Ellison, located here in Katy, Texas. So grab a pen, pad, and some popcorn, and let's start the show. All right, guys, welcome back. As I mentioned, today we're at Meritage Homes, and today we're looking at a floor plan called the Red Bud. Now, the Red Bud is going to be a two story, uh, two bedrooms down, two bedrooms up, and is a total of 3,497 square foot, four bath as well. So, uh, without further ado, let's go on and check it out. Now, as soon as you come in, one of the First things that I really love about this home is the tall ceilings. It, they show off that catwalk right there and that game room that's upstairs. It looks really, really nice. Right here, you've got this uh, you know, office area. Um, what you can do, if you want, you can make this a fifth bedroom. So you, it's essentially, you could have three bedrooms down if you wanted to, but it's a pretty good space. I like the little you know, um, ceiling, the, the coffered ceiling kind of beams, I guess, if you will, that they put in this particular one. Looks pretty cool. Uh, right across the hall over here, this is going to be your standard first bedroom down. Now, of course, first bedroom down, it only makes sense if you give it its own full bath. So you do have a full bath right in here. Um, you know, they went real nice with this uh, white tile here. They use kind of a gray um, granite top, uh, countertop right here that you kind of see all the time. You know, uh, nothing too unique about it. And it also has a pretty nice spacious walk-in closet as well, as you can see. So moving along, right across the hall here, you've got your powder bath for your guests. You know, this is where the guests of the home are gonna use rather than using, you know, a bathroom like say, for example, the one in that secondary. So it's always kind of have, it's, it's nice to have a bath like this where someone's not making a mess with a bunch of towels. Um, after taking a bath or a shower or something. Right here you've got a coat closet that you can uh, you know, use for hanging your coats, I guess, right? Uh, moving along into the living room. Super high ceilings in here. I don't even know how tall these are. Um, probably, gosh, if I had to guess, maybe 24 foot, 22 at least. They're super high. I love it. Um, but coming back over this way, we've got a nice dining room that I love right here. It's, you know, close enough to the family space where everybody still feels together. You're not sectioned off too much. Um, it does have a butler's pantry that leads into the kitchen. So you've got this little area right here. You know, you can make this a coffee bar. Um, you know, maybe you put a little wine cooler or something like that if you want right there. And then right here behind me, you've got um, just a pretty good sized walk-in pantry, if I must say. Over here in the kitchen, uh, pretty good size island, I'd say, right here for putting all your snacks and everything. They even got a cookie here that Karina left out. I'm gonna take one for sure before I leave. Those are my favorite kind, so thanks, Karina. Um, beautiful, you know, flat panel cabinets are standard here. I do like this five burner uh, stove top here by Whirlpool. So I'm assuming Whirlpool is gonna be their appliance package. That's a pretty nice uh, five burner top there. Breakfast area is right here. Not too much to say about it. It's a good size. It's not crammed, that's for sure. Um, and then as we go into the living room, I gotta say my favorite part about this whole living room is probably this mantle that's right here on this fireplace. I have not seen one like that. A lot of people do the tile surrounds or they'll do a raised hearth or you know, stone all the way up the wall or something like that. But that's a pretty unique mantle for sure, I must say. Let's see, we will go back this way. Down the hall, you've got your master bedroom. We'll go check that out real quick. So what's cool about this master, by the way, if you didn't notice, you're kind of walking down your own little separate path to the master. So really cool. And then um, I love this barn door. Let me close it first and I'll kind of show you what that looks like. Super awesome. I mean, look at this barn door. That's cool. You know, you can kind of see right through it and little cracks, but woo, sliding on through. We will go over here. This is awesome. Another part about this bathroom, um, 
or a part about this bathroom that I love is the sinks on top of the counter. I don't know about you, but for me, that's like, that's like a, I don't know, the coolest feature in the world. And then they also put some lights underneath there. I forget what they call those lights. Um, something like a toe kicker lights or something like that, but very cool touch. I bet it looks pretty cool at night for sure. And then of course, you know, your toilet area. I like the um, frameless shower there. And then this master closet, pretty good size. Pretty good size. I like how it's kind of, it's, you know, not just squared off. They use the space pretty well. They kind of have this section and this section with a little divider and then also some built-in shelving as well. So that's always nice. But moving along, we will go back. I wanted to show you inside the um, hallway over here, right by the garage door access. Um, so right here behind me is where you have your, you know, garage. You've got your um, owner's entry as they call it. Some people call it like a little mud room, but this is where the kids put their backpacks. Um, put the shoes down there on that bottom shelf or whatever, put some stuff up there, but it just kind of keeps all the clutter in one little area of the house. So that's always nice. And then over here also you have your utility room, which is a pretty good size. You know, I like the fact that it has a little small window over there, always lets in a little bit of you know, natural light. That's good. Shelving is always nice to have. And then right here, you've got a pretty good size storage closet. Let me show you what that looks like. A little bit of junk in there. Sorry for showing it off, but I mean, it goes all the way underneath that staircase. So that's a lot of storage space. I like it. All right, keep on coming on. We're gonna go on upstairs. Now up here, you've got your game room. This is a really large game room. I mean, you know, and then the fact that you've got this catwalk that comes across and splits to the, these two bedrooms makes it feel just that much larger. Um, we'll go on in here. This is typically a bedroom. Meritage likes to show off their energy efficiencies um, by using typically a bedroom and kind of make it like their display area. Um, I can talk about them real quick. I mean, they have a minimum minimum 15 sear HVAC system. Now, this, this one threw me for a little bit of a loop. You know, they use spray foam insulation. Not totally unheard of. Beezer Homes uses spray foam insulation, but typically they do it just up in the ceiling space, um, in the attic, like right underneath the roof. Meritage Homes apparently does it on the interior walls. So I don't know how I quite feel about that. Some people kind of have a little bit of resistance against the spray foam because it's kind of heavy in chemicals, but it is, it is efficient. I can't deny that. So it's efficient. And then also because it's so thick, it, redu it reduces, excuse me, the uh, outside noise apparently by 4,000%. Four, I, I don't know. Other builders, yeah, this is old cheap stuff. Honestly, probably nobody uses that cellulose stuff anymore. This is pretty common still. Perry Homes is still using this, they call this bat insulation here. It's, you know, old school again as well. And then of course, you know, low E double pane windows. That's pretty common. LED lighting, a lot of the builders are doing that now. Everyone's, you know, used to be CFLs was the big thing. Now LEDs have gotten so cheap that they just started using those um, because now finally it makes a little bit of sense. But I guess that's about that for that. We'll keep on going. This is um, a connected bath to that secondary bedroom. Pretty good size. Now behind me here, you've got this walk-in closet. That's, you know, nice. You've got, um, Shelves on either side and rods on either side, so don't feel like it's just that one. Now, I gotta tell you, this bathroom, pretty cool, a little weird. It seems like they could have done something else with this space, I don't know. It's really wide, but you've got this toilet that's just like right here in the middle, little window, and you're looking at the shower. I don't know, I mean, it's not bad, it's just different, but different's okay. It is connected to this bathroom here, um, or to the sink area right here. Now there's walk-in closet, pretty much identical to the one over there. And it's open. Both of these, if you didn't notice, they're open. The bedrooms are kind of open to the sink area. That's, it's, it's kind of a, a new thing. I've been seeing it when Cal Atlantic was still Cal Atlantic or Ryland, whatever you want to call them. They were doing it in one of their floor plans called the Perfetto. Um, so I've seen it before. Some people like it, some people think it's a little strange. 
you got your closet over there. I guess an additional closet space for this bedroom over there. But we'll keep on going. Back out here to the game room area. Now over here, um, you've got another bedroom. Not bad, not bad. Walk-in closet over there as well. Then over here, you've got another pool bath. And if I'm not mistaken, I remember that this, yeah, pretty, you know, pretty good size linen closet. It's just not like right there behind the door. You've actually got some space in there. So if you need to store something, I suppose that you could. Oh, also you do have an option if you want to do a media room right here at the top of the stairs, right where those switches are basically. You can make that an, you know, an opening and do a pretty large media room from what I can tell by the drawing. So yeah, I think that is about it for this floor plan. Let's go on down and check out the backyard. All right, now for this outdoor living space, you have a couple of options. What you're seeing right here is the extended covered patio option. It pretty much typically standard stops, like right where I'm standard, uh, standing. And then all this was an extension. And then if you want, you can do an outdoor fireplace about in this general area right here to kind of give it uh, a more outdoor living type of uh, feel, if you will. This is probably, uh, well, not probably, it is a uh, add-on, um, but that's okay, you know? I mean, it's kind of rare that you're gonna find a um, outdoor kitchen as a standard option, um, unless you're spending, you know, five, 600 plus. But beautiful home, obviously you're probably gonna be going to the design center, putting a little bit more money in, probably picking out a premium lot, all things of which I can help you out uh, negotiate whenever it's time for you to build your new home. So yeah, guys, that about wraps it up for us today over here at Meritage Homes in the beautiful community of Ellison. Give me a call if you want your own personal tour. If you're thinking about buying, I can help represent you for free. Uh, give me a call at the number below. Uh, check out jeremykerson.com. And uh, until next time, guys, take care.